Hello everyone, it is whatever day it is. Doesn't matter, look what we bought. Ta-da! It's a piano keyboard thing. It lights up. It makes the different noise when you press it quietly or like that. You can push as many keys as you want. And it connects to the phone with an app so you can learn how to play different music. It's really good. And today's one of those days where we're just at home not doing much. Oscar's here doing his drawings. He's super, super addicted to drawing stuff from the TV cartoons. So he'll pause the iPad when it comes to a part that he likes and then he'll just get on and try and draw that. Not sure where the head's gonna go, but okay. Anyway. So he's been drawing like crazy and then asking us to cut out stuff all the time. That's a zebra. Ask our father's sheep. And this is Oscar's sheep. Okay. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, in interesting. 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 Okay. And today is just a day at home, I think. I'm not sure. Are we going out or what? Did you choose? Uh, I, I go. You, I don't know. What? Anyway. Anyway, today is a bit of a miserable day. Last night it blasted with rain. It stopped for a bit now. It stopped for a bit now, but it's still not so, not so great out there. So it's just a day at home, not doing much. I was up until about two in the morning, um, just on the internet and trying to remember uh, what happened was I started looking at some old pictures and then I was thinking, oh my God, these people, I remember these people. And then I was going through, how do I know these people? How do I know these people? And it was just getting a bit crazy. Um, and also last night the discussion was about like the butterfly effect. And I probably talked about this before, I can't remember. But all the little decisions that I made that led to me coming out to China. It's crazy. It's crazy. Just one change of situation and I just wouldn't be in China. You know, I'll try and give you the simplified version. If I've already given you this one, you can just skip this part of the video. So I went to university in Nottingham. And at first I was just living at home with my mum and dad. Um, because that's where we live. So it didn't make sense to move out. But then after about a week or two, I realised that everyone knew everyone. And I was thinking, how does everyone know everyone so fast? And then I realised it's because most people were living on the campus or in student accommodation. So I decided I wanted to live on the student accommodation as well because then I would make more connections and oh my god, I'm glad that I did because I ended up meeting my friend Nikki. She was one of my roommates and I sort of invited myself along to a holiday with her family and that was to Hong Kong. And then I was like, wow, Hong Kong is amazing. So I went back many times to Hong Kong and then a few years later um, I was going to go again with my friend we were going to go again to Japan but at that time Japan had the tsunami and the earthquake and all that lot back in 2011 so we thought well we're not, we're not going to go to a you know a disaster zone so then we sort of like looked on the map and thought where else can we go in Asia and then we chose Shanghai so we thought okay let's try Shanghai so, so can you imagine all these little things that we're choosing that's leading to me living in China so we chose Shanghai and while we're in Shanghai the first few days we didn't find it that interesting I'll put a link somewhere I'm not sure if I made a video I, th I know I made a video in Shanghai but I can't remember if I made a video about it not being very interesting but I'll put a link to those videos and um, we decided, all right, Shanghai is not the one for us, so let's get out of here. So then we went to Beijing. We took the high-speed train to Beijing. It had just finished construction like the month before or something. Otherwise, the trip wouldn't have been possible because um, we weren't exactly going to book another plane ticket from Beijing to Shanghai. So we took the train from um, Beijing to Shanghai. Uh, Shanghai to Beijing, sorry. And in Beijing, my friend met with her friend who she'd met in Germany while studying 
at university. Can you imagine that? So her her university course had a a year away or something, a year in Europe, and then and in Europe she met this friend who we met in Beijing. I know. So we had a place to stay in Beijing because that friend was living in Beijing at the time. What? So we went to stay at their house, and there I met with her boyfriend. And he was cool, and he's the one who showed me around Beijing, or showed us around Beijing, and showed us a really good time. We met up with his friends and his crew, and it was really nice. And then when I went back to Nottingham, he's the one who contacted me to say, you know, I could come back and he can help me get a job, and he can put me up、um, until I find a place of my own, and all this stuff. And that's how it ended up happening. Then I went back to Beijing a month. Later, it's just crazy. So if I hadn't have moved out into student accommodation, if I hadn't have met my, if I hadn't have just moved into that particular place and met my friend Nikki, who I went to、um, Hong Kong with, and then to Shanghai with, and then if she hadn't taken that particular university course where she met that friend who was in Germany at that time, oh my God, there's just too many things that have just Come together to make this happen, and then I've been here now for ten years. When I first came to China, I had no idea that I would be here for so long. I hadn't. It was going to be like one year, and then see how it goes, and then maybe two, and then maybe three, and then it's just like, what has happened? How has ten years passed? It's crazy. It is crazy. And then, I don't know. Maybe that's coming to an end. This year, we'll see. We'll see how life goes. But my God, ten years—it's insane. But I'm glad that I did it. <laughs> yeah, boys and girls.、Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to be vaccinated here.、Um, tell you a little story. Yesterday was it? Yesterday, day before? No. It was day before, yeah. Went to、um, went out, and we took a train, but it was like within the city. It was like a train that's an eight minute train ride, but the distance, if it was in a taxi, it would have been like forty minutes. So we took a train, like the high speed train, and when we went to the train station, fine, scan your health code, whatever.、Um, but when I came out the other side, even though it's in the same city. They were treating me as if I'd just come off a plane, and surrounding me, and like, as if I was trying to sneak in with the virus or something. They're like, "Where's your virus test result?" And I'm like, "I didn't. I haven't got one."、They're、like, "How come you haven't got one? Everyone's had one." I'm like, "Well, I've been at home like every day. When when would I've? How would I've got one? Why would I've got one?" And I said to them, I said to the guy. I've been in this city for over two months now.、And、he's like, "Well, I've been in China for over fifty years, and I've had many virus tests." And I'm like, thinking to myself, "Like your job is, like, standing at the exit of the train station, meeting loads of people who are coming from all over the place potentially. So, I'm not surprised you've had a test." I'm like, "I took a, you know, I scanned my code before I got on the train, which was one station away, and I came off the train here." And now you're stopping me, asking me for my virus test. What? Anyway, he was. They were going crazy and like making phone calls and like taking pictures of me and my passport on their personal phone. You know. Um. In the end, anyway, I got through, but it was like a big, big hassle, and it just because I was a foreigner. Because Hillary, her brother, her mom, um, Oscar. I mean, the babies I don't count, but Hillary, mum, and a brother—they went through no problem. It just means they stopped me because I'm a foreigner and got a passport. And like, oh my god, you must have come from the plane. Like, when did you come to China? I'm like, 2020. I'm like, no. When did you come? Like these days. I'm like, I didn't come these days. And they're scanning, they're looking through my passport, trying to find 2021. Like, when did I come here? When did I come here? And all this stuff. So annoying. Oh, so annoying. Anyway. What I'm hearing now is that they are introducing a two-code thing,、um, which will actually mean three codes because one is the health code, 
One is the, uh, they've got three different codes. One is a health code, which is like sort of, you scan it when you go to a place, like a shop or a train or a plane or whatever, and it will um, group all the people together who have been on that same, um, been into the same place or whatever. And if there's a virus outbreak, they'll know who to contact, all the people who scanned on that day or at that time or whatever. And then there's another one, which is a, um, like a travel code, which is like an internal China thing, which is where, um, except for the code where you scan for a specific place, they're also checking the phone signal every four hours. And every four hours, they'll get a ping of which province you're in. And if you've stopped in one province for more than four hours, then they'll count it as you've traveled to that place. Like if you travel through, like on a train or in a car or something, and it's less than four hours, then they won't count that. But if you've stopped overnight or it just happens to be a massive place and you've taken more than four hours to get through, then it'll count that you've been to that place. So if there's an outbreak in that province, then you will also be dragged in because you've been in that province during that time or whatever. So... And that's for the people who maybe aren't checking into specific places. Anyway, that's the second code. So there's a health code where you scan it everywhere. And then there's that one where they're just collecting that information, even if you didn't scan anything. And then there's a third one now, which is the vaccination one. Um, I guess it's a fourth. When did you have your last virus test? Anyway, the vaccination one. And apparently in lots of places now, they are blocking entrance to people who have not been vaccinated. So that's a thing. Like I saw a video about a shopping center where they were checking for the vaccinations and people who hadn't been vaccinated just weren't allowed into that shopping center. So it's like, I'm getting squeezed. I'm gonna have to get the vaccination, I think. I'm just gonna do it. Um, and yeah, so I got, I got no choice it looks like vaccination in this small city i'll let you know when i get the vaccination and yeah let me know have you been vaccinated wherever you are uh which one did you get and uh, the ones that i can get here are local ones so there's no like none of the ones you might have heard of outside of china they're local vaccinations so yeah there's that Ah, isn't the world just great? Isn't everything just great? <laughs>